Hello and welcome to the Barbarak channel. All right, so let's continue on our Wilson Fuzz uh, work. So last time, if you remember, we did this kind of a we went through the board. We have the board. Everything was assembled. Uh, I tried it out, etc., etc., and I covered how to do the enclosure and everything right so all of that went through you can have a look uh, uh, at it again uh, if you want to but this time uh, if you remember i was talking about two options for pots two options to how to um assemble the 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 pedal so one was that with the uh, pots with you know these uh, pins here the other one was with uh, soldering tabs, you know, uh, in this case. If you look at it, you know, they're pretty much the same uh, boards, right? Nothing really, there, there's no difference, right? Um, and the only difference is, you know, well, well there are two differences. This is uh, soldered in, and I have to... Um, bend this LED. But uh, in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to assemble, we're going to put the pots here into the into the enclosure and then assemble it or sort it directly here. So it's going to be a bit, maybe it's easier to fit, maybe not, but it, it, it brings its own kind of a challenge. So I, I unsorted this one here. So uh, we'll be using the same, exactly the same everything you can get. Uh, I'll put a link to the main, you know, uh, article on the website and to this one that's on the screen. So you can, you know, go back and, and see how I did it. So in this case, you know, like this is going to go inside like this, you know. Uh, so we would have pots and they will have to go like this right and then like this and i don't know if you can see this you can really push them all the way through it's so crammed here so i'm going to try to dream them into the position so this is it, you know. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this off with Dremel. So they're the same size, not a problem. Uh, just a note, first of all, see how crammed this is. I'm going to try Okay. I managed to push it out. Not a big deal. Uh, when you're doing this, make sure that you ho hold it here with a vise or something. And then when you cut it, you cut it here. So, so the... A vibration doesn't affect the rest of the pot, you know. Uh, if you choose to do so, you don't need to do this. Um, another thing that uh, I did was, if you remember, this was a real pain to do, right? So, this shorter, what's the name of that? Yeah, this one. Um, it had to be plugged in from this side, and then it's really tricky to to assemble with that. And I kind of put a different uh, DC jack uh, in uh, update of the original um, article. So there is original article designing PB, PCB and everything. So here. There's edit at some stage. Okay, notes and edits. And here I did some improvements based on what we what happened uh, with assembly. Okay, so here what I'm going to do I'm, I I'm going to use the other one. This this one is is uh, I put here this CUI devices. It's pretty similar, I think, to this uh, uh, the one that I have here. This is um, uh cliff 
FC681473, very inspiring name. Um, and it's pretty much the same as, as this one uh, in terms of the, the size. It, it will just fit here, you know. But it is mounted from the outside, is this... Uh, uh, what's the name? Uh, you... This nut goes outside, and it's way easier to assemble them, you know, and then you can unscrew it, take it out. It's easier, you don't need to un desolder anything or anything, you know, etc. Uh, okay, so that kind of worked, but uh, I wasn't really happy with uh, how that uh, worked out in the end. I had to uh, I had to do a bit more work with it, more uh, components that I didn't want to use. So I thought, look, this is working, everything I managed to fit it in, it was just too cramped. So why don't I put it into a bigger uh, enclosure? And I should have probably started with that in the first place. So I just took this out. I'm just going to put it into the enclosure, hopefully everything is fine, and I'm, I'm going to use the original components that I used. Again, understand, uh, this I didn't put this into the list of uh, uh, bill of material, but I'll update that. Um, and you can find it on the link below. So, let's get into this, let's get, uh, I'll just assemble this, try it out, see that it works, and then hopefully it looks a bit better than cramped um, original version. So let's see. Now, hopefully you can see how neater this looks like. Uh, I can even put my old, uh, the original knobs. Here they are. Okay. Looks much better, huh? Uh, th the last bit is just putting the feet, I suppose. I can put all three if I wanted to or not. I wonder what's the best way to do this. Having three is, o is an overkill, definitely. I I'd say one would have been enough. But it's such a small board. Just gonna... This is where I struggle with this. How do you put this adhesive without messing the location up? And there it is, you know, it's fitting. I just need to get the, well, there it is, done. It's time to give it a try and see what we got. Okay, so that's it. Uh, we managed in this one with a bit of pain to uh, complete the other, the other alternative version of of this um, P 
PCV that we designed in the previous couple of uh, videos. So it is an iterative process. Uh, there are some failures, some successes, but overall the idea is to get something that's working and with every new iteration, we get it closer to perfection the way we really want it to, to be. So, you know, this went pretty well. Uh, there are things that I can improve on this, but I think this is enough for this kind of a PCB, first PCB design adventure. With that, until next time.